Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a cannon card deck inside of Clash Royale. One of the cards I really don't have a ton of experience with, and it's a card I'm going to be trying out today for you guys. It's a cannon card graveyard deck that seems super fun. I know that this deck might seem a little bit strange. You've got some elements of bridge spam. You've got the legendary trifecta of the Night Witch, E-Wiz, as well as Inferno Dragon, but I think this deck could work pretty well. You can go for Ice Golem graveyard pushes. You can go for Night Witch graveyard pushes, cannon card graveyard pushes. The there's so many different ways to play this graveyard deck. It's like another version of the splash yard deck, basically, except you don't have the knight, you don't have the bowler, uh, and the inferno dragon subbed in there. But let's try this out. I think this deck should be pretty fun. I've always wanted to make this cannon card work a little bit more than what I've used it for so far. And uh, let's make this happen against Baldez. Uh, and let's see if we can make this work. Now, if you guys have used the cannon card at all to any success, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to try some more of these cannon card decks to see if they work out for us. Looks like this starting hand is going to be pretty decent. We can wait for his Inferno Dragon to lock on, get our Ewiz going down uh, momentarily afterwards. There goes his Inferno Dragon. I'm even going to go ahead and zap that down right there. And as this all goes in, I guess we'll start spamming it up right now. Inferno Dragon's going to go in. Bandit's going to lock on in a moment. Let's get this Graveyard down. His Poison Spell just went down. That's a big no-no because now this skeleton or the skeleton army i almost just said but this group of giant this giant group of skeletons as the inferno dragon burns that down is going to start doing massive damage to the tower tower is going to go down to 1443 and all in all a pretty solid start to the game i kept wanting to say skeleton army or skeleton swarm with the graveyard because that's basically what it was as they were popping out of the ground let's keep this up right now see if we can keep it moving we still haven't revealed our hidden cannon card just yet and I feel like it's definitely going to take him for surprise. All right, here we go. Cannon card is down. Tell no one that I'm playing this cannon card, but we're doing it. It's going to start making its way through. He's got the Mega Knight. Fascinating stuff right there. He does have the E-Wiz as well, so we've got to be very careful that we don't do anything stupid when it comes to that. Cannon card's actually going to avoid that right there, which is perfect. E-Wiz is going to lock this Inferno Dragon up. Really nice start for us. Look at this Cannon card lock on to this E-Wiz and then inevitably lock onto the tower. It's going to turn around and start doing some massive damage. Oh man, this is an absolutely perfect start to the game, guys. In fact, we're going to go for a crazy push on this lane. I'm going to play Graveyard, followed up by the Ice Golem. I was hoping that maybe we could get this uh, Ice Golem to tank a little bit sooner, but instead, the tower is going to be swarmed with skeletons. He's going to eventually play his Zap, and as this Ice Golem is going to start beating down this tower slowly but surely. And yeah, this has been a pretty nice start to this battle. That, uh, of course, that Ice Golem play was a little bit questionable. Let's get our Night Witch going down right now. Zero damage to our towers. Of course, that's about to change with this push. All in all, still not the end of the world. Inferno Dragon against these bats. Going to be a negative elixir trade. That is still fine by me, given the lead that we have right now. And uh, let's go and go crazy with another cannon cart push, guys. This is hilarious. The cannon cart is just ridiculous. The Mega Knight's going to go down against this cannon cart. Still, the skeletons are cleaning up house. The bats are going to go in as well onto this Mega Knight. Simply getting so much damage right now and such good value as the bats go in. Ewiz is going to go down once again as this miner goes down. Looks pretty good. Night Witch to clean up this... Uh, e Wiz over here. Bandit might get some value. We'll have to log that. Uh, we'll have to log that just to make sure we don't take too much more. And uh, one more push to end them all. Let's go and do Graveyard. Ice Golem was a little bit late. Still ended up making it work right there. Poison spell as well. GG. Well played. And uh, what a battle. All right. Well, that was a uh, ridiculous battle right there. But we ended up picking up a clean 2-0 victory. A little bit damage in the left-hand lane towards the very end. But no big deal right there. And you can see the versatility of this deck. You can throw almost any of those cards to the graveyard and get some serious tower damage off. If the graveyard wasn't nerfed, I feel like this deck would be even more powerful. Uh, and maybe a deck you'd see a lot more inside of the meta. But still, cannon card is hilarious inside of this deck. And uh, let's go ahead and get into battle number two. All right. Enrique is going to be our next opponent. And uh, let's keep it up with this Night Witch. Might be playing a little bit of Log Bait right here. Log's going to clean up some of these goblins and shove that Knight back. All in all, not a terrible start to the game. I'll go ahead and get ready with our Ice Golem and can or Graveyard momentarily. Bats are going to take a while to die. Need the Ice Golem to get locked onto. Perfectly done right there. Oh, this damage is about to be sick. Log might be a little bit too early, but he does have the Goblin Gang to help clean up. Night Witch is going to get hit onto the tower. Just what we need right there. And as these goblins sprint in, I think it's going to be fine just to leave those be. Let's use our E-Wiz against this uh, princess right here. We'll take a little bit of damage on this side, but still looking good. There goes the knight once again. Have to clean up with the night witch in a moment. Could be seeing another goblin barrel, but he opts to just hang out, play his uh, ice spirit, and then eventually we're going to play our log once again. Take a little bit of ice spirit damage, but that's okay. And a pretty solid start to this game. So once we get our elixir really brewing, we can get some really nice pushes going um, with our ice golem graveyard plus our poison spell. Should be able to clean up 
a pretty decent chunk of damage there. Let's get our Ice Golem ready again to counter this Goblin Gang. Should do a nice job of stopping these Goblins in their tracks. And, uh, yeah, pretty nice job. Positive Elixir trade right there. Just gonna keep our cool. I feel like the Cannon card actually provides a lot of value here, too. He hasn't shown a single air card inside of his deck. So let's just keep calm right now. I think if we just keep our cool, we're gonna look really good going into Double Elixir. Here's our Cannon card going down next. It is a very fast-moving card, so... Got to keep that in mind as this cannon goes in. We could see a rocket, but of course, that's going to still leave the cannon cart to help defend in a moment. And as this all goes in, he's going to play a goblin barrel in the very back. That lets me hold on to my log against his goblin gang. Princess is going to go... Oh, wow. That's a bad, bad log right there. Oops. Uh, that log's going to be pretty, pretty busted right there. Cannon cart, though, still cleaning up shop right now. Look at this cannon cart. Cannon Cart's going to be the real MVP, taking on all of these goblins right here. And here comes the big push. He just spent so much right there. Another questionable goblin barrel uh, means we can use our Ewas in a moment to clean these goblins up. Wow, we're going to get some decent damage. Look at the skeletons and the bats just terrorizing that tower. Poison spell to help clean up this goblin gang means we are so close to victory, guys. Just can't blow this. And everything should be good in the hood. Here we go with the log. Log once again going to do some great work for us. Night Witch over here. Got the uh, Inferno Dragon momentarily as he blocks me with that Ice Spirit. All right, we're just playing some interesting little plays to hold on right now. One Poison plus one Log does win this game for us, so no reason to freak out and do anything crazy. Another interesting Goblin Barrel to try to bait us out, but unfortunately for him, that is not going to work at all. 15 seconds left on the clock, guys. Poison Spell is going to start ticking. The Ice Golem is going to be the finishing touch onto that tower. Oh, that is beautiful. Cannon Card as well. GG, well played. And another solid dub yeah this deck is fun beats out log bait as you can see right there did really nice the cannon card providing so much value seeing as this guy has nothing that shoots air or that flies in the air inside of his deck beautifully done for win number two let's keep another battle going and keep this up against luis alberto and uh interesting starting end okay this is uh this will be a true test right here this will be a true test we have to play our inferno dragon to start very uh crazy stuff i'll start this off right now he'll start nice spirit so those will meet up and do combat. And as we get ready, the goblins are going to go in. Are we going to be seeing a hog rider? I'm going to cycle my uh, ice golem just in case. He's going to play the uh, in front or the uh, executioner. So let's just go in with the graveyard right now. If the executioner turns around, which I think it will in a moment against these skeletons, we could get some value with this inferno dragon. Looks like the inferno dragon is going to start tanking as these skeletons are doing work onto the tower. Nicely done by the inferno dragon to clean up that executioner. Very nice start to this game. And all in all, we're looking pretty dang good. I'll get my E-Wiz running down the lane in a moment. No cannon cart for that night. That would have been a lot of fun. Here goes a bunch of stuff right here. We'll have to play our uh, log as well to help clean up shop. Nice little defense right there. Lightning spell could come out if he has the elixir. Is it time to do some bridge spam? Oh, no. Guys, it was not time to do some bridge spam at all. Looks like that tornado is going to go in. We're still going to clean up that executioner fairly well. But the cannon cart's going to be just out of range. The log is going to be pointless. And, uh, okay, what a start to this. Still, I think we have some really nice plays coming up for us with this uh, Ice Golem. Let's go ahead and do this. Just Ice Golem Graveyard in his face. Keep the pressure up right now. Wow. I thought I had perfect timing on that, but I went way too ham. So that's going to be a 5 Elixir negative trade for us, guys. Uh, I don't... I don't think I need to be the one to tell you that that's, a, that's not very good for us. Hog Rider's going to go in. Have to log all of this down. Could be seeing a Lightning Spell sometime soon. Uh, I wouldn't mind a Lightning Spell. It would even up what's going on. Nope, that's going to be fine. One hit from the Hog Rider. We're still down severely as far as Elixir goes, but with the Hog Rider being his only win condition, still not the end of the world. Let's get ready with the uh, Inferno Dragon right here. Clean up this night and uh, just keep smoothing our way into overtime. And eventually, we can get a nice graveyard push going, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about the state of our graveyard. Here goes the Inferno Dragon. Could be seeing some goblins. There they are right there. Not going to worry about those too much more. Cannon Cart's going to go down. I'm still expecting this, this, uh, this, what is it? The Lightning Spell sometime soon as everything locks on over here. He's going to play the Lightning Spell, so we can just start cleaning up with our Ewiz right here. This is looking so good. Cannon Cart, in fact, is going to stay alive right there. Here goes our Graveyard. Time to make an aggressive push. Log as well to try to get onto these goblins, seeing if we can make our way there as the Cannon Cart locks onto the Executioner. All right, what a game, what a game, what a game. Another Ice uh, Golem to stop this. Cannon Cart will survive the Lightning Spell pretty dang well, but we're still going to take some serious damage right here. One more hit from the Hog Rider means pretty bad stuff. All right, we'll let that Cannon Cart make its way over right now. Poison Spell as well. Just start cleaning up some damage right here. E-Wiz will help out in a moment. Could be seeing another Hog Rider in a second, so we got to keep calm for that. Oh, Log's going to go down, actually. Clean this up right here. Beautifully done. 
Can we possibly do something with this graveyard plus this e -Wiz right here? I don't think so. I think we messed up the uh, ice golem placement again, which is going to cost us a lot of damage. Oh, man, we're so close. Poison spell is going to go down as the ice golem gets on. Very aggressive poison spell. Trying to keep ourselves floating right now, but this has been difficult. If this dude had a... Uh, a hog rider this definitely would or a lightning spell this definitely would have been an interesting game logs gonna go down i was expecting the hog rider there it is right there cannon card has to clean up oh man cannon card has to clean up can't there's the lightning spell wow so late on the lightning spell cannon card's gonna run all the way through onto this knight can we possibly hold on right now with our with our goblins trying to or his goblins trying to hold up our skeletons can't get a single hit right now that is brutal for us i got to just play a log i guess and i think that's gonna be the end of it guys uh ice golem Gotta stop something, gotta stop something. The lightning spell is gonna finish us though. GG, well played. Ah, I couldn't break through. I never got the right cycle going, but he played pretty well during this one. GG, let's do one more battle to show this cannon card deck off, but man, I blew it. I definitely blew that one. I feel like I've been doing a lot of videos where I get two wins, I blow the third battle, and then I win the fourth. So let's try to keep that going today. Um, but basically all I needed was enough elixir to go for a poison on top of those goblins and it would have been GG. That was really his only graveyard stopper and I could just never make it happen. And unfortunately we paid a pretty dear price for that. Let's go ahead and poison this collector. I don't have any good offensive options right now. And let's see what a uh, sky guy 41 wants to end up doing. Yeah, this has been a, an interesting set of games so far today. As this ice golem rolls through, he's going to play his... He's going to play that big, beautiful baby dragon. We're going to get our poison spell, or our graveyard going down right now. Looks like we're going to get some value out of these archers. Nicely done right there. Mega Knight's going to go in, guys. That is going to be a fascinating card to deal with. Baby dragon plus archers are going to start making their way through. I'm going to take this damage right here from the baby dragon. One shot from the baby... Ooh, two shots from the baby dragon. That doesn't feel very good. Inferno dragon is going to go down right now. He could have the, uh, the E-Wiz, but instead he's going to play that Mega Knight. Going to burn that to a crisp right there and even lock on on this side. All right. Not a terrible start to the game by any means. Not bad at all. In fact, I'm going to go for a cannon cart. Why not just try to shove this cannon cart all the way through? Cannon cart's even going to lock on for a moment. Ooh, get two hits onto the tower. He needs to play something else. The tornado's going to do nothing, guys. Cannon cart is going to do some ridiculous damage right here. Break down and keep shooting two more shots into that tower. Beautiful, beautiful job. We'll get the e -Wiz going. Once again, this Mega Knight will be our main uh, source of pain in this battle. I'm going to play a poison spell onto this collector as soon as possible. And I keep trying to make sure we don't get too far down as far as Elixir goes. Although, you know, we're already pretty far down as it is. Okay, well, let's ignore that and keep up with our battle right now. Mega Knight could be coming in a moment as the archers creep their way down this lane. All right, we'll take a couple of hits from the archers. Not the end of the world. And as we get ready with our Night Witch, he's going to play a Golem. Wow, this is a, a fairly aggressive Golem from him. I'm going to try to make him pay. I keep playing my Graveyard so early, guys. Wow, we got lucky with that placement right there because that could have been so treacherous. Instead, he's going to play his Tornado. Not a perfect counter to what we're playing right here. Going to get that down to 379, maybe even a little bit lower in a moment. Cannon's Cart's going to lock on over here. I'm going to burn everything down to zero. He doesn't have a zap for the uh, Inferno Dragon, so we're simply going to clean up house against that Golem. Wow, this guy definitely doesn't have too many great options against our deck. I can certainly feel for him there, but this should basically be G GG. Without that Golem push ending the game, this is going to be the end of it. I'll throw a GG out there because I thought he was going to go ahead and surrender before playing that Mega Knight. I'll get the Inferno Dragon down in a moment. going to even log this bad boy back to make sure it doesn't get a top off. Nicely done. Only a little bit of HP left on that tower as well. And with the cannon cart flying down the lane, hopefully this will be the end of this battle. And we won't have to worry about this anymore. All right. Well played from SkyGuy41. You guys know what it is. Win the first two battles, lose the third, and then dominate the fourth. That's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you guys check out this cannon cart deck, which is a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys want to try it out, it's pretty simple. You got a lot of different options for how you want to play your graveyard. But with a couple of legendary cards. Wow, this is five legendary cards in a single deck. I think that's the first deck I've ever played that has five legendary cards. Certainly a tough deck to play uh, if you guys don't have those. But anyways, go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think about the cannon cart in the comment section below. If you have any other decks you want me to try out, I would love to check them out on my channel. And uh, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.